President Biden is heading to FEMA headquarters today for a briefing on the Atlantic hurricane outlook. His trip comes ahead of the official start of hurricane season next week. NBCNews.com senior White House reporter Shannon Pettypiece joins us now. So, Shannon, I want to start with another agenda item for President Biden. He's still pushing his massive infrastructure package, but reducing it from just over $2.2 trillion to around $1.7 trillion. So he cut about half a trillion bucks from his plan. How are Republicans responding to that offer? Well, they've essentially balked at it. We heard from Senator Capito, who's been leading the negotiations from the Republican side. She indicated that she felt the two sides have gotten further apart after meeting recently with the White House compared to where they were when they sat down in the Oval Office just a few weeks ago with the president. The two sides essentially are looking at this from very different perspectives. Republicans clearly see this as a straightforward bricks and mortars infrastructure bill, more like a very big high Highway bill, while the White House, based on this counteroffer, continues to see this as something much broader. Their counteroffer continues to include hundreds of billions of dollars for things like elder care, for example. And Shannon, during his address to Congress last month, President Biden urged lawmakers to pass his police reform bill by the one year anniversary of George Floyd's death, which is tomorrow. Where do things stand right now? Well, that was always an aggressive timeline from the start. Negotiators in Congress say they are still going back and forth, uh, that they do feel like they are making progress. But the White House does want to do something to mark this milestone, this anniversary, and they will be bringing the Floyd family to the White House to meet with the president. There was discussion about bringing congressional leaders, but concern that that could upset this delicate balance of negotiations currently going on in Congress. So hopeful, the White House says, that some progress will be made in Congress on some legislation legislation on police reform. All right, Shannon, thank you so much. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.